Hi there. So I want to make a quick video which just covers a nifty little animation tool inside Unreal Engine 5. And what we can see here is we've got two different animations. But you might notice at the end of the animation, so we're just playing a sequence at the moment, they actually clip out because they start uh, and stop in a different place. So there are a couple of different ways of fixing this. For instance, you can use uh, anim composites um, and things like that, or montages, and then combine uh, video clips together. But if you just want to keep them as sequences, there's a nice little way of doing that. So as you can see, I've just got the sequence inside the, the level here. And I've also got a skeletal mesh that these belong to as well, which is a sci-fi robot. And what we're going to do is just going to place in a level sequence actor and just drop that into the scene. And go ahead, just create a new asset, create a new level sequence, we'll call this a dump sequence. <clears throat> we're going to open the level sequence, we're going to drop in our skeletal mesh actor. Cool, Let's see what we're doing here. And we're going to pull in this animation, dump number six. Cool. As we can see when we scrub through, the animation just plays forward. Then we reach our end point, which would usually uh, mean that we, it would kind of jolt back to the start. What we're going to do is just going to alt drag um, and blend it into the same animation again. So we've got just two of the same animation blended in uh, with each other. There's another reason why this one's quite good. In a montage, you can have them following each other. It's quite difficult to blend them between each other. Cool. So uh, one thing we are going to do before we do anything else is just show you uh, that if we go to properties, we've actually got a reverse button here. So the simplest way to, to fix this particular problem is to have it playing forwards and then straight after playing back. So we go back to the same uh, point at the start. I'm just going to blend these two together a little bit more. So for instance, if you want to play this in a montage, that's totally possible now. So uh, to get it, to turn this into an animation sequence, we just click on right click on the skeletal mesh and then we just go to bake animation sequence. Choose a name for the sequence. I'm going to call this 06 ping pong because that's what it's doing, it's doing a ping pong. Place it in my content folder and we've got a few options. So the de by default it takes their transforms and more, more targets, attribute curves and material curves um, and it doesn't bring in the world space value. Now if you've got a, a sequence, for instance a cinematic sequence, so the, the action will only ever be happening in one place then you can definitely use that but if it's something, uh, say for instance you want your character to fly up in the air, it will only move in that world space or so if you depending on the level it will jump to that particular space in the world just something to be aware of we can see that i've actually made a bit of an error at the end of this one so when the uh, the sequence ends you'll actually have a little bit of space where it goes back to the skeletal mesh pose uh, and that's because i've left a little bit of space at the end just something to be aware of if you're using this you need to make sure that the wherever the end of the sequence is that's the animation that you'll bake which again kind of quite a quite nice tool uh, you can crop it um, one other thing we're going to do, we're just going to old drag out the first one again, and we're going to go to the properties, and we can see we've got a mirror data table option. I'm going to go ahead and create a mirror data table, and you can do this through right clicking uh, and creating a blueprint as well. I'm just going to call this robot mirror. <clears throat> and we go through the skeleton robot, create that one, and this will by default um, if you're using the Unreal Mannequin. Uh, tools. I'm just going to choose the mirror. If using the um, mannequin, it will automatically uh, flip it round. Um, if you're using it by custom, then just go into it and look at the find and replace options. So we can see what we've got. We've got a mirrored version of the first one. I'm going to take the second one now. Just drag that over as well with an alt drag. And do properties and then just choose that mirror. So now what we've got, we've got four different animations, one forwards, one back, uh, sorry, one forwards, one reversed, and then one mirrored forwards and one mirrored reverse, all coming together, and it finishes at the same point. Cool, you can see if we right click there, and we go to bake animation sequence, let's call this uh, 
full dance sequence and OK that. Again, it will give us the options. Content, I'll bring up the options. Um, you can also add warm up and delay as well. We're not going to do that on this. So, bake the animation. And now we can just uh, get rid of the sequence and drop the animation into the world. And it will work. Um, I don't know if you're anything like me, but the thing which takes one of the most amounts of time uh, in Unreal is definitely the animation pipeline. I think that using Sequencer uh, in this way uh, can really help speed things up, especially if it's a relatively small job for something that's a bit more of a one-off or something where you just want to fix things easily. Um, I think it's a really, really good move by Unreal to, to use it. Um, and yeah, I just thought it was worth putting a quick video out there just to cover it. Well, all the best, and if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thanks.